Jalen Strong had tweeted something along the lines of Caitlin Clark is the best Division One athlete, period. Right now. Right now. And I I disagree. Well, okay. And cool. part of it is not ne- – I just don't think that you can go out and say – this one person is the best athlete in Division One athletics. Well, that's interesting you used to say that because you were trying to make the case no, but that I'm somebody was. I, no, I did not give you one specific athlete that yeah, should you be. You said Caleb Williams multiple times. Yeah. I said Caleb Williams. I said Leon Marchand. There is a bunch of different yeah, athletes so I was say that you yeah. could argue. And there is there two. There's a bunch of athletes. There's Spencer Lee. I've got one of the best wrestlers in all of the NCAA. Penn State. Iowa, Iowa, ironically enough. <laughs> 14 and 1 as a freshman, 23 and 3 as a sophomore, 15 and 0 as a junior, six golds at the Big Ten and NCAA championships, and eight total medals, including a U.S. gold medal. I brought up Caleb Williams because he obviously had a ridiculous season, broke cotton bowl records. Obviously, they lost. He threw five touchdowns. He's definitely set to be the number one overall pick in next year's NFL draft. Okay. Caitlin Clark, phenomenal season. Leon Marchand. We talked about him. 26 and 0, first time in yeah. 20 years. 18 national and world records. Helped ASU obviously reach second NCAAs. This is one of my favorite that also always gets left out. Uh Tiari Jennings, second base, Oklahoma softball. Ridiculous what she does. First in the country, 87 RBIs last year, second in home runs RBI. with 29. Finished the year with a above 400 batting average, 38 extra base hits, um, which ranked fifth in the nation. Had six multi home run games, home running in 23 of Oklahoma's 62 games, and holds a bunch of women's called college world series records. So, okay, I don't think that it is fair to say that there is one specific athlete that is the best across all sports. It's the same reason that you don't get people like when there's the goat conversation Michael Jordan, he's the goat in basketball, Tom Brady, he's the goat in football, Tiger Woods, whatever, Roger Federer. You don't get conversations of, oh, Michael Jordan is the greatest GOAT of all time. What? What? Maybe we should, we should have that. That should be Wait, a well, well, I don't not think, even it, a goat I don't think sport, you can but. compare. Like, you can't sit here and tell me. Like, why, okay, why, but, is, but, why is Caitlin Clark the but, best okay. Division one? athlete? Is, but this is the problem I had with it last night, and this is what I was— This is the only thing I argued with you about. You said it was an awful take, and it's not. She is, she's arguably the best Division one player right now. The in best division, every sport. the best division one athlete right now. She's arguably the best. You know who else is Leon Marchand. You know who else is everybody else. You said it's not an awful take because because it's an opinion that she is the best athlete in division one right now, and that's okay. And if you want to say it's not arguable, then that can't be an awful take because then then no one is. Why is she better than Leon? But but your whole argument doesn't make sense if you're saying then we we can't compare. This these. is the argument I'm making is that you cannot compare them. Okay, then that then why is it an awful take? I think it goes outside. The, I think it goes outside the individual and into the the sport. Like mm-hmm. you can, you can have three home runs in a game, get to the last inning, two outs, and the closer gives up a three run home run, and yeah. you lose the game. Yeah. And I think it goes to the fact of in swimming, it's an individual sport wrapped in a team atmosphere. On an individual event, no one else is affecting your lane or swim as long as everything's going kosher there. But in basketball, obviously, there's four other people on the court and uh, for your team. And then there's six other people on the bench, typically. And then football, more hockey, other yep. players. Like it expands on outside of the scope of what you're able to control, mm. and it almost becomes a position to position if you like analyze that. But I mean, I and in contrast to that, I never hear anyone talk about MJ being just the best position player of all time. It's like the best player of all yeah. time because he did so much, obviously, but. I think it, it, that's that's what makes it hard is you have to really compare like the sports that are most applicable as well because like I mean you could go to like I mean I don't know his college career but you could go into Paul Rabel like for lacrosse mm-hmm. as well like the like like the MJ of lacrosse yep. yeah and I think that that's it's just so hard to compare as well yeah I mean my it's tough because like part of my thing with like the 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 basketball goat conversation in particular is that. <clears throat> The only thing that like the only reason I listened to not the only well, no, kind of the only reason I listened to Michael Jordan argument is part in part because of his impact on the sport, too. And I think that's important in terms of like the the goat conversation. Um, And I also think like the sport is important because the reality is, is that some sports are just bigger than others. Um, And I mean, when you look at what Caitlin Clark has done, she is doing what Steph Curry did to the NBA. She's like revolutionizing the sport. She's breaking records. She dragged an Iowa team 
by herself, by herself to a national championship. Um, like it, very few people can say that. And I, I mean, it is hard. Cause like you look at Leon, like it's an individual sport and he's the most dominant at it. Like, yeah, he's yeah. the best. And so I, I don't think you can really compare individual sports to team sports. Cause it's, it's a completely so different hard. setup. Yeah. Um, but as far as like the team sports go, I don't really know how you can argue that it's not Caitlin Clark because a the impact she's having on the sport and b she was the most dominant. Like yeah. no one's been, no one has dominated a sport in a single a team sport in a single season the way that she did this year. Yeah, I mean, I agree with what you're saying, Toast. You can't like you can't compare players from different sports to see who is better. Like it's not a one for one argument. But saying that it's an awful take that somebody thinks that she's the best athlete in Division One. Sports right now, I, I I just I don't agree. I think it's an awful take simply for the fact that I don't think that you can compare. Like, they're non-comparable things It's an awful me. take for having a take. Yes, like, there shouldn't I, be a take for that, in, in my I mean, particular opinion. I that I mean, that's fair. I get I get that. Because, because what you care about, right, whereas when you say, you know, there are some people that like women's basketball more than swim and dive, or there are people that like wrestling more than lacrosse, right? There are people vice versa that feel the exact opposite. Yeah, but all due respect, Grant. Like the reality is, there's more people watching women's basketball than there are swim and dive. Like oh, it is, absolutely. it is like uh, it is. They are they are on different levels to a certain extent. I guess my issue is that best probably wasn't the right word to make the point that he was trying to make. I think like, she currently. I think you could argue currently she is the most impactful. Yeah, like but I, best is. Best is just different. That wrestler mm. was pretty. I I didn't know. I didn't hear. Yeah. I didn't He's know that. But when you ridiculous. Yeah, that was pretty raw. When you're and ironically that's, enough, that's, goes to Iowa too. That's yeah. stat line. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, because like realistically, and I know it's easy for all of us to sit here and say this, but if we're talking about the single most dominant athlete, like it's it is Leon. Yeah, yeah. He didn't lose. Like yeah. you can't. You literally. Gosh. That is the he definition of dominance. He, he broke lose, records. And it's all because of him. Yeah, like, and it's it's an individual sport. I mean, like obviously the training, yeah. but like individually, yeah, pushing me, pushing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like his you said, dad. yes, <laughs> his, his father, Grant House. Uh, it's, and I think it's an interesting conversation to have. I think she's definitely changed the way that people look at she's women's the biggest basketball. athlete in Division One sports right now. I would say, yeah. yeah, yeah, the biggest, yeah, yeah, definitely for me the most impactful. And I think if you listen to what she said post game about how like her what the impact she wants to have with like young women. And in terms of just like growing the game, I think she's definitely succeeded and she's going to be a problem. When yeah. She gets and it's w. again, it's like the Steph Curry thing. There's a bunch of kids who show up to gyms and all they do is shoot threes now because yeah. of Steph Curry. And there's going to be a bunch of young girls that start doing the same damn thing because of Caitlin Clark. See, but and then, and I will say you said the word best isn't the best thing to describe it, right? Yeah. Then why did you say Caleb Williams, best college athlete by a mile? <laughs> you did use those exact <laughs> I think, words. I, well, look, <laughs> no. You're bringing up red receipts like I'm fucking like that was that was my immediate reaction. OK, I had time to think about it. Go look at some of these answered. athletes. And that's the way I feel. OK, I'm just, coming I'm, at me with red receipts. Yeah, I am. I'm holding you accountable. I think a, like oh, no, well, not to not to blast anyone, but like John with the the biggest athlete, too. I think like that's the wrong way to look at it, too, because it's an aspect of best. I think it goes into ability and talent and and skill. And then biggest, I think, with how the world works now, yeah, like the social media, yeah. I mean, like, it's if probably we're if, done. If, <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. like the Cavender twins, yeah. like Libby Dunn, like That's, if you're yeah. talking yeah. biggest and most like draw into a sport or a segment of sports, like that, that I think that starts to get really far away from the actual sentiment of skill and ability. Yeah, that's that's a very fair point. Yeah, so maybe best isn't that harsh of the wrong move. 